Hey guys, this is Shainu from How to Play CA. Today I'll be showing you guys this amazing application. It's called Discord. And this is actually so much better than Raycall, Skype, and TeamSpeak combined. Reason why I say that, well, before I say all that, uh, this is a beta, so it's in progress. <laughs> so it ha might have some, you know, bugs, but they're going to fix it eventually. But anyways, let me get back to my statement. Uh, why is this better? Reason why, because all three of these applications that I stated have some kind of a disadvantage and this seems to be the only application that fulfills all my needs. Reason being, it doesn't lag you while you're playing video games unlike Skype. It's because when you're using Skype, it takes a lot of uh, CPU memory use, you know, memory and it kind of lags your gameplay. So Skype sucks. And on top of that, if you want to add people to your server, there's no server in Skype. You just add people to the group and you there's a limit to how many people you can add. So that kind of sucks. TeamSpeak, it's pretty much, uh, you know, it's a good choice, but the only downside for that is that people who are the creator of the server will be able to see your IP address which they can use against you. So if you piss them off, they can DDoS you, they can find where you live, stuff like that. It's crazy. And people do that. <laughs> so you would have to have a VPN just so that you can use TeamSpeak, which is too much work. Um, and then there's Raycall, which is amazing. Actually, I love Raycall. Don't get me wrong. I used to love Raycall. Uh, Raycall was amazing for, you know, many reasons. One being that it doesn't use so much memory, so your gameplay doesn't lag, or your I'm sorry, your game doesn't really lag so much. And, you know, it's... That's pretty much the reason why I like Raycall. <laughs> but, um, you know, it doesn't have, Raycall doesn't have an application for your cell phone. That's the only downside for Raycall. But this application has, you know, there's a different operating system. So there's uh, one for Windows, there's Macintosh, they have it for iPhone, Android, and their Linux is coming soon, which I don't know why you would have Linux anyway. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to give you guys a basic review of this application i'm going to first show you the how the pc version looks like and then i'm going to show you guys how it looks in my cell phone which is an iphone 6s plus anyways it's pretty simple uh it's and uh, it's self-explanatory i'm pretty sure you guys know how to raise your account uh you know you put your information in here and then make one uh, i'm gonna log in i already have an account here so let me log in real quick All right, all right, let me log in. There we go. And this is how the user interface looks like. It's pretty simple, which I really like. I don't like when it's too much stuff going on here or advertisements popping up here and stuff like that. I hate when that happens. So this is very, you know, minimal, which I really, really enjoy. Um, so I'm going to give you guys some basic, basic information. Uh, to add a friend, you just have to click on add friend. That's the option here. And you have to type their username. So my username here is Shainu with a tag number. So the tag number for me is 8751. So if you want to add me, you would have to type in Shainu hashtag 8751. And that's the unique number that people will be able to find you by. So you just send a friend request when you do have that information from your friends. <clears throat> After that, you know, if the person is online, you know, you will see it here. Uh, this is one of my friends. He's actually offline. He's the one who actually showed me this application. So big shout out to Taha, <laughs> this Iraqi guy. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so yeah, that's how you add people. And after that, you can create your own server, which is amazing. And I think it's better for me to show you how to make a server in my iPhone so you guys will also have an idea of how it looks in the cell phone section. All right, so here is my iPhone, if I can find it. There we go. Actually, there we go. All right, so this is my iPhone right here. I downloaded the application, so there it is. Uh, login just like you do in your... Well, let me log in real quick, actually. Mm. All right, there's my login. So after uh, you know you got go in here, login with the information that you created your account with, and this is how it looks like. Would you like for the notification to be sent? Yes. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me make a server. It looks pretty much the same like it does in the computer. So so yeah, let me show you guys how to make a server here. So you click on this plus sign that is right here. So you click on the plus sign and then you create just like that. Uh, you can name it whatever. So I'm just going to say testing. Uh, 
and server region it really doesn't matter I have it use central you can have Amsterdam it honestly it doesn't matter um, so I'm just gonna have it back to whatever so I'm just gonna create a uh, server just like that and there you go so this is your server so if you want to create a test channel which you can do if you click this plus sign right here so click on that plus sign and name it so I'm just gonna say friends and create it so as you can see uh, people who actually are in this section will be able to say hey and stuff like that you can also send pictures damn it <laughs> you guys saw some pictures of mine uh, but you guys can also send pictures if you would like um, and yeah so that's pretty much it so you can send pictures and that's pretty much all you can do in their chat section let's go in the voice channels so to do voice channels is pretty simple all you have to do is click on general not in the voice channel because when you click on voice channel it's just gonna create a new channel so actually you know what? I'm just gonna create one I'm just gonna name it friends 2 <laughs> and I'm gonna create it and all you have to do then is go friends 2 and you know click on that right here click on right here and it will ask you connect to this voice channel connect and when it does you can see it says voice connected in the bottom right here and you can actually have it right now it's not going to show me an option here there should be an option here say iPhone speaker but I have it connected to my computer so that option won't show here but if you're trying to talk to your friends uh, you know with speaker you can do that I don't really recommend that I recommend you guys to have a headphone if you're using your cell phone because uh, it goes by you know your voice pretty much so it really doesn't have an um, you know an option where you can actually hold it down and talk it just takes the loudest voice that projects from your mouth <laughs> so there's gonna be times when it's just cut off in the middle so a headphone would be a pretty good idea if you're using it on your cell phone so that's pretty much it it's pretty simple guys uh, and I really I'm starting to like this application a lot and I hope you guys do as well and yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys found this video helpful if you did like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one peace